You got to get my attention before you ask me the question. I'm giving you a scenario here. Here's the deal. You know, give me something to work with. Don't just shoot questions at me. I can't do it. Talk to me like you're personal. That's what I like it. Ambitiously meet people and be hospitable. chairman of General Motors saw that device, what he would want to do is grab it for General Motors, put a patent on it, and uh, have the only car on Earth um, that runs forever with no fuel coming from his company. If you take an example such as Albert Einstein, he didn't contradict what we already know to be true. The problem with the SEG that I've seen so far is that there are contradictions. There are things we can see to be observably true which are contradicted by the claims made for the SEG. John Searle is a man who, as a 14-year-old, developed magnetic technology that renders nuclear, oil, gas, solar, tide, wind, and all forms of energy generation obsolete that we use today. A lot of other technologies out there that, that generate energy and that, uh, uh, that are very beneficial. It, it takes the cake. It does everything we can imagine. You know, when, when you open Pandora's box, you don't just get this benefit, you don't just get that, you get everything. And this machine, it, we can equate it to that. It's the Pandora's box, the whole can of worms. So you don't just get the limitless energy, you don't just get the, the health benefits, you, you get it all. all. This is an ambient energy converter. And ambient energy is heat. Heat is radiative force, it's radiation. So extreme radiation is very extreme heat. So this machine operates on a very low magnetic frequency and it overpowers all frequencies around it which then begin to resonate with the frequency of the Searle effect generator. So higher frequencies become lower frequencies. High frequencies are heat. So if high frequencies become lower frequencies, the radiation cools. As it does so, it creates usable electricity that we can power our homes and our world without need for fossil fuels. So this device will clean the air, clean Japan, clean the atmosphere, the oceans, and promote plant growth, all while powering our home. Start to, start to clean our world and apply this in Japan. Let Japan be the example of fixing, of the solution, of how to clean radiation. A horrible, horrible thing happens to them. But we can fix this to the best of our ability. Not by sitting around saying we can reduce pollution in the next 15 mm -hmm. years, but we can do this within mm -hmm. the next 15 months. We have been putting out the word. We have been trying to communicate with as many people as possible. I've been writing notes and posting them on various forums in different languages. Uh, just reaching out and trying to get the attention of people of influence, celebrities, world leaders, Anybody who can help us, who will listen, uh, and the people at large. Those are true stories, huh? Wow. Yes, they're very true stories. Really? The uh, Air Commodore of Great Britain was a witness and uh, got on live radio back in the uh, 50s or the 60s. I uh, have to get the exact date. But he said, Don Searle is the truth. He means what he says, and he will be master of all air and space. And that was before 1969 moon landing. Got my technique down and everything. I don't be tickling, tickling, tickling or nothing.
when I started looking into the subjects that I'm involved with, it just starts fascinating you more and more because you see more hope and you see more opportunities uh, than what is currently promoted. And I focus on what is not really talked about on mainstream and solutions that we can be focusing on now that will render this world unbelievably free. This thing wanted to fly. So to me then, the easiest thing was to work on a body. Let it fly. And we flew this over the rooftops, and then we had a surprise. You see, we saw the tiles waving as it went along.